Hey guys, uh, today's gear is chiseled face as usual, midnight stag for the month of August, and we do have the midnight stag splash, and we've had the cologne here all month, and the splash, I found my regular bottle of it. I have a matching one for this that I was using at the start of the month, left it at a, a relative's house, and I was able to find my old one. This was the one I used for the first time. I did a Midnight Stag Challenge a few years ago. So it'd be nice to be all stag this time. And I am doing my Smoke Owners Club with the Taj handle as usual. And the um, blade is my Nasset. And I think I forgot to put a dot after the last shave. And so I think we're looking at 463 shaves today, but it, the description of the video will have the right number. And the Timeless Open Comb 68 Stainless Steel is going to be the razor. And I already loaded the blade in. One of my alarms went off and it messed up my video, so I, I, uh, I took it out. Uh, I mean, I uh, paused and deleted the video. And here's the, the Nasset with its little etchings and dots and things like that. About a day and a half of growth on my face, and so this uh, may not be as nice, as comfy as a shave as usual. And I'm planning to do a short one today. So that method where I, I'm, I'm what I'm going to do is just shake a lot of the water off, and then so it's still quite wet. I'm going to do a few seconds of loading. One, two, three. Three seconds, let's try that out. Not really too much slurry in the soap surface. Ah, see, look, we're getting drips. Now what I could what if I caught some of those drips in my hand? Kind of use that as a pre-wash, kind of the ultimate in conserving soap, right? And the idea here, as I discovered inadvertently. I'm not really going to take this lather to the next level. I'm not going to mature it. I'm just going to kind of paint it on a little bit. As you can see, it's really very wet. And that's it right there. I do have a bowl there that I'm just using to rest the brush in. it for the lathering. And I've discovered that this soap just somehow because of that will be a lot slicker than when I take it my usual route. I have no idea why. It just, just the way it works out. With the extra growth I'm doing shorter strokes and I'm, I'm taking my time before I move on to another row kind of, of, of shaving away here. You can do it whichever way you feel. Try it both ways. You can kind of move quickly like this and cover every bit kind of once and then just come back. Whatever way you see fit or you can do it like I started out there in the beginning where you kind of move slowly and you get a little bit you end up with better results it just takes you do it in one pass instead of uh, multiple and I think I need to add a little bit more water on here
probably do one more pass. I'm not going to get a super close shave today, but that's all right. Dribble a little bit more water on the brush for this last pass. And you can tell I, I didn't really load a ton of concentrate on my brush. There's some guys that like to load for quite a while when they face lather, and that's okay. Nothing wrong with that if that's what they like. But you can see I've got plenty of lather here. After just those three seconds, and this is super slick. It really increased my... my kind of internal feeling of the legitimacy of this soap base. And so maybe guys, well, I didn't land on this super slick method for this soap. Maybe other guys have, and, and so that's why they, you know, talk about it like they do as being super slick. And there we go. Nice close shave, reasonably close. I could definitely use a touch up, but no big deal. I'm gonna rinse now. I don't know if showing you this after the fact that I've uh, rinsed it out really well, shaken it out in the sink, and then dropped it on the towel and just fluffed it up a little bit. I don't know if we can gradually over the uses see a, a change in the, the shape of it while it's kind of wet like this. I know that when it's dry, you can see a little bit more because the the tips here, they may be split, but they're clumping right now and they're not coming apart like you kind of want to see just to be able to watch the maturity of it. But anyway, I'm showing it. And the splash. I've enjoyed using the City Slicker for sure. The uh, Midnight Stag is a, a nice jolt. It has more, it's got some menthol in it. I don't think the City Slicker does. But fortunately, it does have too much menthol. Um, a, a less than average or zero menthol is my preference. And this Midnight Stag here seems to have less than average. And so, um, at least it's that. Um, there we go. So the blade did just fine. Pretty good comparing, uh, considering the uh, the fact that we mowed down. Let me give it a little rinse here. Considering we took down a little bit more than usual growth. It's been nice this week, just kind of letting my gear sit on the bathroom sink. I haven't been able to really do that my whole shaving life. Ah, so that's a plus. All right, and we are kind of done putting things to, uh, away. And so we'll do the CDP. And there you go. Excellent. Thanks for watching so much. This is... Sugar Day Shaves, and I hope there's been something in this video, short as it is, to help you out with your shaving journey. Take care now.